जय हिंद टू ऑल दिस इज संतोष कुमार मिश्रा एंड आई एम वर्किंग इन अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज इन इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट एंड आई विल कवर जावा सर्वर पेजेस इन टूडे लेक्चर एंड दिस एज यू आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट दिस इज अ वेरी टेक्निकल कोर टेक्निकल एंड बिगर कॉन्सेप्ट सो इट विल टेक टाइम बट लेक्चर वाइज लेक्चर बाई लेक्चर विल आई विल ट्राई टू कवर दिस जावा सर्वर पेजेस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट वॉट द जावा सर्वर पेजेस दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द जी एस पी ऑल्सो सो दिस टॉपिक जावा सर्वर पेजेस इज इन यूनिट फाइव ऑफ द बी टेक सब्जेक्ट नेम्ड वेब टेक्नोलॉजी एंड दिस वेब टेक्नोलॉजी इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट इन फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एज वेल एज इट इज ऑल्सो टॉट इन द सी एस सी डिपार्टमेंट ऑल्सो इन आई होप फोर्थ और सिक्स सेमेस्टर सो वॉट वेर एवर द दिस सब्जेक्ट इज दिस सब्जेक्ट कंटेन्स दिस टेक्नोलॉजी नेम्ड जावा सर्वर पेजेज सो लेट्स स्टार्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट वॉट द जावा सर्वर पेजेज इज एज जावा सर्वर पेजेज एज गिवेन हियर इज ए टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर डेवलपिंग वेब पेजेस दैट सपोर्ट डायनामिक कंटेंट विच हेल्प डेवलपर टू इंसर्ट जावा कोड इन एस टी एम एल पेजेज बाई मेकिंग यूज ऑफ स्पेशल जे एस पी टैक्स ओके मीन्स द जे एस पी इज जावा सर्वर पेजेज पेज इज अ टेक्नोलॉजी दैट वी जनरली यूज टू क्रिएट अ डायनामिक वेब पेज एज वी ऑल नो दैट द स्टेटिक वेब पेजेज आर क्रिएटेड थ्रू सम स्क्रिप्टिंग लैंग्वेजेज लाइक एस टी एम एल सो एस टी एम एल कंटेन द स्टेटिक कंटेन एंड वेर एवर वी वॉन्ट टू फैच और यूज सम डायनामिक कंटेंट देयर वी विल यूज सम प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एंड हियर वी कैन यूज जावा लैंग्वेज सो एस टी एम एल एलॉन्ग विथ जावा इन अ सिंगल पेज दैट मेक दैट पेज डायनामिक इज कॉल्ड अ जे एस पी पेज मीन्स वी हैव अ स्टेटिक कंटेंट इन आर एस टी एम एल पेज एंड वेर एवर द डायनामिक थिंग्स आर रिक्वायर्ड वी विल यूज सम प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज हियर इन दिस केस वी विल यूज जावा लैंग्वेज इन दैट सेम एस टी एम एल पेज टू फेस द डायनामिक थिंग्स सो वी कैन collectively say that the java server pages is a collection of html and java the part that are static are handled through html and the part of the pages that are dynamic are handled through java and collectively that page that contain both html and java is called a jsp page so we define jsp as a technology that we use to create dynamic web pages is called jsp java server pages whenever it is compiled and executed by jsp engine it is basically converted into a servlet and what the servlet is the servlet is a server side component the servlet is a server side program that the client send a request for that servlet and that servlet is a server side program that has been created to create a service to provide a service to the client and whenever that service required by the client the client send the request in the http form http servlet request object will be sent to that server that server interpret that request process that request create a dynamic response in the server environment and send back that response in the http servlet response form to the back to the client this is the servlet means servlet is a server side services available for the client so whenever a request is sent by the client for a jsp page that jsp page will be translated to equivalent servlet 
and the servlet is then compiled and executed and then dynamic content are generated by and sent back to the client we will see the life cycle of this jsp page in the later slides so we can say that jsp is a extension to the servlet it has all the things of servlet but it has some additional content additional things with it so like it has expression languages like jstl it provide more functionality than servlet so that's why it is called extension to the servlet as i have already told you that the jsp page consists of html tag and jsp tags so the jsp pages are easier to maintain than servlet because we can separate designing and development so main focus is we separate the view part and the controller part as we all know that there are architecture mvc architecture model view control model is the database view is the front end that is generated by html and controller is the servlet controller is the servlet and this jsp separate the presentation to the back end logic so this way uh, jsp separate the designing and development of your web project java server pages are built on top of the java servlet api so like servlet jsp also has access to all the powerful enterprise java apis including jdbc jndi ejb jaxp etc etc means java servlet is all the services all the things that are provided by java servlet are also provided by the jsp like all the uh, all the uh, things that servlet provide that also provided by the jsp like jdbc jndi ejb all these services that are provided by the servlet are also provided by the jsp because because jsp is built on the top of servlet means uh, jsp is built on the top of servlet means that jsp is ultimately going to convert into equivalent servlet okay let's i have i have already told you that jsp architecture architecture has three tier architecture model view control means view is presentation logic presentation control is logic and model is data databases data layers the presentation layer is responsible for displaying presenting the front end to the client for client interaction that is developed by some markups like html uh, xml or uh, css uh, java script these all are responsible for displaying the things in a proper format to the client in logic layer is server side logic responsible for processing of request and hand and handling the business logic means controlling processing that request and sending back the response the data layer is responsible for storing and retrieving data from the database or other storage system this separation is of concern allowed for better maintainability scalability of the application since all the three three things are separate so it is easy to maintain easy to scale the application up to the required level so jsp provide this mechanism to separate the model view and control model is back end part the database part control is for processing the business logic actual program and view is the presentation logic front end of the that which responsible to interact with the client so this architecture that i have told you has been depicted in this figure client send the request via internet to the web server and that request is for a jsp page the web server if required fetch the data from the database process the request generate a dynamic response and send that response in the 
client understandable language that is a html form and that html is dynamic response has been sent back to the client via internet this is the overall request handling of a client by the jsp web server so this has been uh, explained here that i have already told you a client send a request for a jsp web page to the web server the web server forward the request to the jsp engine responsible for processing of that jsp page so i have covered this so jsp pages generally runs on a engine that is also known as jsp engine your jsp page will execute in a environment that require a environment that is also called jsp engine and that jsp engine is also known as web container it means the web container is responsible that provide the environment to execute the jsp processes so web container is a web server component that manages all the life cycle of jsp and servlet when a client send a request to a jsp page the web container intercept that request and direct that request to the jsp engine jsp engine that convert then convert that request to the uh, servlet page and compile it if that servlet is already available it directly forward that request to that servlet and if it is not available then that equivalent servlet is created compiled and then the request sent back to that Uh, servlet that servlet generate a dynamic content depending upon the request of the client and send that request to the back to the client and that web container is itself require uh, responsible to execute the life cycle of the jsp we will see what the jsp life cycle is additionally web server also provide all the required security features for that uh, for that jsp pages so there are many advantages of using jsp over servlet first one is extensions to the servlet as i have told you that all the things that are provided by the servlet is also available to the jsp in spite of it jsp also provide a lot of additional concept that are available with jsp engine like expression library jstl it's it all are provided by the jsp and servlet things are all, all already available with the so we can say that the jsp is a extension to the servlet it is since the life cycle of all the jsp pages are maintained by the web server so it is easy to maintain a web uh, jsp page in spite of uh, in uh, servlet we have to do a lot of coding to maintain that servlet but here we just separate our business logic with presentation logic and all the separation with the backend is also there so it is very easy to maintain it is very easy to maintain uh, jsp uh, rather than servlet so we it is very fast and developing a project in jsp is very fast because we need not to re deploy if we made the changes that changes change part is automatically reloaded we need not to re deploy all the things so that's why the uh, it's, it's a speedy development of your project then servlet to write a hello world servlet we have to write a lot of code we have to import some packages we have to extend some classes then we have to create the input output stream from that servlet we have to create a uh, uh, connectivity for writing the things to the web pages but and then we have to create a html page one by one means we have to write a number of code to simply write a hello world to the by the servlet but in jsp we just create a html page deploy on the servlet deploy on the web server and that's that is so it is very easy there are less line of code 
in uh, JSP pages as compared to servlet. So there are two ways. Now we will uh, see what the difference between servlet and JSP. Servlet, I, if you will you see the code of JS, uh, servlet, it looks like a Java code. It is a core Java. It looks the complex Java code. But when you see, you will see the JSP page, it looks like HTML based code. So it is easy. Servlet is tough and JSP is easy because it looks like HTML but servlet is a Java code. Second difference is servlet writing code in servlet is tougher than tougher than JSP. J writing code in HTML is more easy easier than uh, servlet. So servlet uh, servlet act as a controller in the MVC approach and JSP is uh, act as the view part of your uh, MVC architecture. Servlet is since I, I have already told you that whenever a JSP page is required by the client that page is uh, fast and that translated to the equivalent servlet then that servlet compiled and then executed and then send the response is sent back. But if it is a servlet, there is then there is no need to translate it into servlet because it is already servlet. So since in JSP page translation is required, so we may say that the JSP is slower as compared to servlet because servlet is there is no translation in some servlet is required. But in JSP page, the translation from servlet uh, JSP to servlet is required. So servlet is faster and JSP is slower. Servlet can accept all protocol requests. Servlet can accept all protocol requests, but JSP can only handle HTTP requests. JSP can only handle HTTP requests, but Servlet can handle any type of request like HTTP, UDP, TCP, any type of request can be handled by uh, serv Servlet, but JSP is only for HTTP request only. Servlet can be in servlet we can write the service method. I, I will tell you that there is a life cycle of servlet as well as JSP. Life cycle of servlet contain init method, service method, and destroy method. Like that, JSP life cycle contains JSP init, JSP service, JSP destroy method. So in servlet we can override that service method, but in JSP we cannot override that service method because that service method is not directly available to us because your JSP pages will be converted into servlet. Then servlet has the, that service method and we are not creating that servlet. So we cannot override that service method, but in servlet we have that service method. So we can override that service method means we can say that in servlet service method may be overridden but in JSP service method may not be overridden. In servlet default session management is not there means we have to apply the uh, technology we have to apply the concept to maintain the session in the servlet. There are four ways to for session management like URL rewrite in hidden form field says HTTP session and cookies. There are four ways to track the session. We have to explicitly track the session in our servlet uh, uh, program. But in JSP, the session management is done automatically. It is automatically enabled. So we need not to have a uh, uh, track of the session of the client. There, the session management in JSP is very easy as compared to session management in servlet because servlet automatically does not provide the session management but JSP session is automatically enabled. Servlet have to in servlet we have to implement everything like business logic presentation logic in just one servlet life cycle but in JSP business logic is separated from presentation logic 
by using java bean so modification in servlet is a time consuming task because it includes reloading recompiling and restarting the server server but modification in jsp is fast because we need just to refresh click on the refresh button and your server sir, we need not to deploy all the thing every time whenever the change we may have made some changes in our jsp pages but if we made the changes in our servlet pages then we have to apply many uh, we have made some modification then we have to reload recompile and restart the servlet to make that changes in effect so the modification is not easy in servlet it's time taking but in jsp it is very fast so this is the, this i have already told you the, uh, what are the advantages of jsp over servlet now what the life cycle of a jsp page is whenever a jsp page is executed uh, in uh, the web server it create it calls it execute this life cycle it go through this life cycle first time whenever a jsp page is called that jsp page is translated into equivalent servlet page that i have already told you next whenever that servlet has been created now that servlet is compiled by the jvm and after compilation that that servlet that is equivalent to that jsp page is call it call its uh, its init method and the init of method of jsp is is given here jsp init is there so this jsp init method is responsible to initialize the required parameter of that web server to execute that servlet so after initializing all the required parameter the jsp engine call its jsp service method and whatever code whatever task we actually performed in our uh, code is generally written in this jsp service method so this is the main method we can say after executing this jsp service method at last whenever we terminate that jsp page the jsp engine called the jsp destroy method and it release all the parameters all the memories that are that are already allocated by that by that jsp engine so this way this is the life cycle this diagram shows how the jsp processing is done whenever a client request for a jsp page if if it it the request is the first request for that jsp page that jsp page is translated to equivalent servlet and the dot java file is created then that servlet is compiled by the jvm and dot dot class file is created and that dot class file that servlet contain jsp in it jsp service and jsp destroy method that create that dynamic response and that dot class file is allocated to the java runtime environment and that's object of that servlet is created and sent back to the response is sent back to the client and if the servlet is already instantiated then request is directly transferred to that servlet object so this is the translation phase that i have already told you compilation phase so servlet execution is done in two phases translation and compilation phases i have already told you what the init method does after that service method i have told you then destroy method now how the jsp page is created to create a jsp page this is the hierarchy this is the hierarchy on your web server we have to create a hierarchy like this we have to create a web app page and web app uh, folder and in that web app folder we have to create a web dash ina folder in that we have to create a classes folder and in that classes folder all the dot class file of the servlet are kept and 
we have to create a lib folder web.xml is created and your jsp pages will be kept at web app folder and if the html pages images css are there that are also kept on the same hierarchy and this hierarchy if we work on uh, my clips framework then that my clips already create this hierarchy we have just to put our jsp pages in the web app folders that we will see so this way you have to I, I, all you all know where we will put your jsp pages and then in the jsp pages we just create a, a, what the jsp pages uh, that i have already told you it's just a html page that contains a java code also and after uh, in next lecture we'll see how we can create our jsp page and execute them okay we will meet in the next lecture thank you thanks a lot